2018 was a record-setting year for Silicon Valley, with higher levels of investment and income, but also more people moving out than any time in the last 12 years. Those are some of the perplexing findings in the 2019 State of the Valley Index, compiled by Joint Venture Silicon Valley. The combination of trends underscores immediate challenges facing corporate and government leaders who attended the State of the Valley Conference this past February. The most stunning highlight, venture capital investment in Silicon Valley companies, including those in San Francisco, reached $50 billion in 2018. That's 45% of all VC investment in the U.S. We've never seen anything like this, and that's not an exaggeration. There's more venture capital in Silicon Valley today than there was during the dot-com craziness in the year 1999-2000. 81 mega deals, each one worth more than $100 million, launched this economic rocket. They include companies that create ready-made construction components, windows that reduce eye strain, and improvements to guide autonomous vehicles. The largest investment, $12.8 billion, went to a manufacturer of electronic cigarettes. Presidential historian John Meacham says Silicon Valley's economic health is not only vital to the region, but may lead the fight against the current trend toward trade wars and economic nationalism. These are the kind of folks who are the shock troops if we're going to come out of our nationalistic and populist moment. They're the ones who create jobs, they're the ones who create prosperity, and prosperity has always been essential to any social progress. Without that, we're going to be stuck in this two armed camps, uh, with America as an armed camp and the rest of the world as an armed camp. Silicon Valley continues to innovate. A record 19,539 patents were registered in 2018. But a curious spike in acquisitions has emerged. Large companies snapping up smaller ones that are working toward innovation, but haven't yet achieved it. It seems like if there's a startup company that's promising or disruptive or doing something significant, uh, they won't wait to see how that plays out. They'll just acquire the company. And uh, they're acquiring those companies by the dozens. It's changing the character of innovation. Innovation used to be something that happened out on the landscape under the sunlight in full public view, and now it's happening inside the fortresses of these companies. If, in fact, it's stifling innovation, then we've killed our golden goose. Silicon Valley's average annual income reached $140,000, more than double the national average. But a quarter of renters spend half of their earnings on housing, while the median price of a home soared 21% to $1.2 million. Bay Area Urban Planning Associations, such as Spur, warn of more gated communities. If we don't start to build middle-income housing in this region, we will eventually not have anybody who's middle-income living here because people who are middle income will be priced out. That is a trend line we can change. We can make sure that we produce more housing, and in particular, more housing that becomes affordable to people at all income levels. Also, the region's changing demographics just crossed a threshold. Asians now represent the largest population share at 34%. 40% of Silicon Valley's highly technical workers come from China and India. Only 17% of highly skilled workers are from California, a percentage predicted to shrink even further. We actually see significant worker shortages because the number of people that are coming through the schools, the children in this region, is insufficient to fill the likely jobs we have, plus the number of retirees that we're going to have. So even to 2030, it might be on the order of 700,000 shortage of, of workers. Los Angeles Mayor Eric Garcetti says a key to broadening the workforce is to start at the top, 54% of LA City administrative positions are now held by women. My challenge to CEOs today was get more women and people of color into your C-suites and on your boards. And do it quickly. If government is always seen as slow and we were able to do that in six months in the city of Los Angeles to have gender equity, you can do it too. As for the region's crowded streets and freeways, this year's conference featured a live poll measuring support for a regional agency to address traffic. More than 1,300 people attended the 2019 State of the Valley Conference in San Jose.